Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove the handlebars on this uh, BMW 1600 GTL for whatever reason you want to do it unfortunately the previous owner of this bike for some other reason decided to spray these handlebars and as you can see ever since I bought the bike the paint has just started to flake off so I decided I'm had enough of this and um, I'm just basically going to remove the handlebars, get a heat gun and just remove all the spray and get it back to the way it looked like when it came out of the factory. Okay, to start off with, you need to remove this belt over here. And then there's a very small little torx screw inside here. I'll show you now. You have to pry this front piece of the handlebar away to see that little torx screw. Okay, the little torx screw I was talking about, you know, just push that forward. Take this piece of the handlebar away. And you'll see it's in there. A little bit difficult to see, but it's in there, you'll see it. I might as well just tell you now, okay, to totally remove everything. You're going to have to remove that bolt there as well. There's a cable tie that you have to cut. And these two bolts will also have to be removed in different times as we go through this. So I might as well just show you all, all the bolts that are going to have to be removed. That one, these two here, and unclip that table tie. The, this little plastic cover here um, is going to have to be removed as well because there's a, one of those electronic clips that has to be removed as well, but I'll show you that later now. Well, as you can see here, what happened here, um, I thought it was necessary for you to remove this, this little piece here in order for you to remove these electrical clips. I thought the handle bar was not going to come off while this is still in, but fortunately that's not the case. So I was able to remove this entire piece here with all the cables and everything still attached. Okay, now for the final piece, you have to remove that bolt. Like I said in the beginning, there's a bolt in here and then there's a bolt there that you have to remove and then you can take this stick out.
Okay, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I have tried everything possible, um, but I have not been able to remove this bar from the rest of, of the handle bar. I don't know if it screws on, if it's pressure inserted or not, but I'm not going to worry about it any further. Um, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. I'm just afraid I'm going to break this thing if I struggle with it any longer. It's not necessary for me to remove it anyway for what I want to do, so I'm just going to leave it like that and continue further. Okay, over to the right hand side. Um, this side is a little bit more complicated. The bolt that you have to loosen is not inside here. It's actually hidden behind these covers, so you have to remove those covers first. And there's a little, a very small little T8 torque screw inside there that you have to remove. Okay, after the screw has been removed, you can just basically pry open this piece here. The same goes for the other side. Just squeeze this piece in here and it will come loose. I also remove this little, I think this is a throttle connector. I remove this piece as well here. Don't know if it's really necessary, but gives you a little bit more space for your hands, etc. After you've removed that bottom part of that cover, you'll see there right in the middle of the screen there's a small little torque screw as well that has to be removed. Okay, after you've removed that screw, you can just basically lift this up. And you see there is the screw that we need to remove to remove this entire section. Well, unfortunately, as you can see in this instance, uh, some of these electrical units had to be plugged out for, in order for me to remove the handlebar. And now I'm just going to do exactly the same as we did on the other side and just remove these two bolts and get this brake lever unit loose. And of course this little cable tie also has to be cut loose. As I mentioned earlier, I said the only reason why we really want to remove this is to give us more space, but yeah, um, that's obviously not the case. You have to remove this, otherwise you won't be able to remove the unit. Okay, now we can start with the center section of the handlebars. First thing you need to do is just remove this patch cover here. You just take a small little screwdriver, dryer, just wedge it in here and it will just come off. It takes a 27 millimeter socket.
Okay, now with the handlebars loose, I was planning to take off this ignition console and uh, remove the torque screws while the entire handlebar is removed, but um, I was not expecting these screws. These are some of those anti-fifth screws that um, I assume only BMW will be able to remove. That's not the end of the world. What I'm going to do now is just basically disconnect the, the wiring harness. Okay, as you can see, I've removed this little connector here. But there's still a little bracket holding this wire. Okay, there, I've unclipped the bracket just to give you an idea what it looks like. So the wire is loose and the entire handlebar section is loose. So now you can do with this handlebars whatever you want to do with it. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Obviously, if you want to put it back, everything is just in reverse order.